everyone, today I have a video that's pretty exciting for me. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Morbid Enterprises animated up and down ghost. I got this Amazon from Amazon for only $50 with free shipping. So that's a really good deal for this. You can see it rises to almost 6 feet tall. It goes up and down. And you can see it on the box. See, this one looks red because of the lighting. But they just like took this picture in the with like lights on and took the background out so the lights make it look red and then that's it in the dark it has blue lights but the listing for this one also mentioned red in the title and in the picture you could see this in the background this image in the background and then in the foreground there was one of it and it had blood on it and stuff so I think that this one might have been a customized one 2011 Morbid Enterprises and see there it says like, I think it probably said three AA batteries, but they've written over it in marker to say four. It's from 2011, so it's sort of old, so hopefully it works, but I would be fine doing some repairs on it because I like to repair stuff. So, uh, let's open it. I was going to use my GoPro for this one, but, like, it was being strange with, like, the battery percentage and stuff, so I just, I'm using my camcorder. So hopefully this is all right. This tape doesn't rip like most tapes do. Also, this is pretty light. Uh, the sticker says it's only five pounds. I like it's the module. Alright, and yeah, this box is pretty beat up too, but there's just like a hole there. But hopefully the item is fine. So I guess I'll just like pull it out here. Alright, that looks to be the cloth and the up and down part. And these look exactly like Techie Toys poles, but I think they might be a bit longer. And like, it's a little bit different type of plastic. I'll get up my floating reaper and then compare the poles a little bit later. Looks like instructions. Oh yeah, instructions. It's very simple, you just put the poles on and connect the wires. On the box they had to write for on, but here it just says for. Let's look at this here, inside out. Isn't it? I can't see its eyes. Where are your eyes? Oh, there they are. So yeah, this is the inside. So the poles look like techie poles. And this looks like a techie base. See, there's like a hole there. That's for like the module for stuff like Demonica and Damien went. And, oh, uh-oh. There's a crack in it. One of the harnesses is glued in, but this one that says D, it's not. And that's where the parts for the floating ones go. Okay, so it looks like the image in the listing was a different one because that one had blood on it and this one doesn't appear to have any blood on it. Yeah, it's just a normal ghost. Oh, and it looks like it came detached from the head. These wires aren't, like, attached to anything. They just, um, hang in loose. You see, it seems glued on. Also, I'm pretty sure that this is the same extending mechanism as the Monica and all those props. Because it looks similar, but I don't have any of them, so I can't directly compare them. But, I guess we'll get this set up and see if it's functioning. Oh, oh that one's broken. It's supposed to be like a twist in, but it's just like, yeah, it's really hard to twist that one. What about this one? Like I couldn't twist it in. That one too. So there's like at least two different versions of, uh, two different programming versions of this that I've seen. There's one where it just goes up for the whole activation and then goes down at the end. Oh, there's a little dirt there. And then there's one where it goes up and down a bunch of times throughout the whole activation. 
so I don't think there's a way to tell which one you have. Maybe they were made in different years and you could tell by the year. But we'll see which one I got. I forgot to move the camera. Oops. Well, there it is. There's the up and down ghost setup. So now I'll put some batteries in it and we'll see if it works. Hopefully it doesn't just fall apart while it's going. This isn't a y'all moment. There's there's already batteries in it and they've clearly been in there a while. They're corroded. They expired in 2018. They're probably from when this thing was made. So luckily the corrosion wasn't as bad as some of the other things I've had to deal with. It was just one that had corroded. And it was just like mostly powder, but like there was still a bit of rust on the springs. So I might have to like wait until tomorrow to test it so I can fix it first. But I've got some new batteries in it, so let's see if it works. Seems I'm gonna have to wait until tomorrow so I can fix it. Okay, so it's like 30-something minutes later, and I actually just got it to work. I tested it down, like, I sanded and brushed it a little more, and it worked for, like, the split second that I had it on in the garage. So, I'm pretty sure it's gonna work now, hopefully. Okay, so it fully works, but it looks like some of the lights might not be working. But other than that, it seems to work, which is good. I'm glad I don't have to do any repairs on that mechanism. But, yeah, really happy to have this. And, um, I'll, let's get a closer look at the lights, actually. So it is pretty big. It's definitely, like, six feet tall. Oh, oh yeah. I guess, like, I don't know, something about it, like, you saw that the first time I did it, um, like, it was, like, halfway up when it ended, but that time, it was, like, almost at the bottom, so that's interesting, but I'm glad I got the one that, like, goes up and down throughout the whole activation, and doesn't just go up once, and then go down at the end, because I like this one better, but, um, I guess I'll have to look at the LED. They're wired in series, so... It has to be a wire off of one of them, because when they're in series, if one goes out, the rest will still work. And also that one is like that. But it's like up towards the top. Oh, the lights are connected to the motor. I don't know. Let's see it again. That's the only, the only the one at the top is working. So, I don't see any wire off though, and it's like, the solder is completely encased in glue. I don't know what's up with this one. I have to see what I can do about that. So that's gonna be all for this video. So, thanks for watching.